YouTube gold. Everybody to a new video, a new vlog, if you, a new food video. Well, this isn't going to be all food, but because I just left Texas and was extremely disappointed in their barbecue, I could not wait to get home and enjoy some real barbecue. Not none of that Texas fake stuff. Oh, I don't know what's up, Texas. Why, why you treat me that way? I was really afraid I was getting ready to go back to Texas. Just due to the food situation, but that didn't happen. I came down here to Bradenton, Florida to pick up at Tropicana, so I'm getting loaded with orange juice going to Tennessee, which Tennessee has some good barbecue. That should be decent, but I'm definitely not going to try and make this a food video. It's not going to happen. I don't think. Good news is, we'll bring this in there. The Superman statue camera this Saturday is actually working pretty good. I really don't have to monitor it too much, and somebody just walked by and waved to the camera. They knew they were on a YouTube channel. That was kind of cool. So I got this pretty well automated, everything set up, so I could just drive down the road and not really have to worry about it too much. I'm gonna go for four more hours, so by then I should be loaded, heading down the roadway, and that should just be automated. And I might even try and do a little bit of it tonight after my regular live stream on this channel, and maybe just let the Superman thing run all night long camera fails it won't matter at least the chat will be going so if people do pop in pop out they can chat amongst each other that could be nice having like an all-night chat stream for people to meet still working this thing out well let's head over towards Anna Marie Island and uh, start heading north get out of this place let that Superman thing do what that Superman thing's gonna do It has been a long day so far, and I made it time for lunch. And this specific place I'm stopping at right now is kind of amazing. At the moment, I am at exit 201 on I-75 en route to Atlanta, Georgia at the moment. And this piece of property, this big dirt parking lot that I'm at right now, has a pretty interesting story. Kind of. I don't know if it's interesting. It is to me because what happened here affected me. Back in the day, many, many years ago, this big lot over here was nothing. This is just where truck drivers would park when we needed a place to sleep at night. All of a sudden, one day we started to pull in here and they were charging us $15 a night to park in this big empty parking lot. The gentleman that purchased this property figured, I'm gonna make some money off these truck drivers. At least that's what we all thought. We thought we were getting screwed over. This was a big empty dirt lot. Somebody bought it and we're gonna charge us to park. Come to find out, that wasn't the man's plans. He had a dream. He was an entrepreneur, if you will. And uh, he took that money that all of us were paying every time we'd be coming up this way, trying to find a place to park near the Atlanta, Georgia area. He was taking all these drivers' money and banking it. Why was he banking it? I'm gonna show you. He did something pretty cool with that money. He had a dream, needed it funded, and bought this property to help fund his project. Come on, I'll show you what he did. Small corner of the property, he built this amazing place. Probably my number one barbecue spot in the entire United States. Oh, Rudy's. Oh my God, they're so good, so good. We started out with just a little smoker and then built it all into this. This guy right here knew what he was doing. Created bathrooms, indoor dining, and a quaint little trailer facade. I'm not kidding. If you are on I-75 heading north or south, take exit 271 here in Georgia. 
go over here to Old Rudy's. If not for the food, not the regular food, but just for their potato salad. There is nothing like it anywhere in the country. I don't know what it is about this potato salad, but oh my, it's it's worth driving from Florida all the way up to Atlanta for just for a little tub of potato salad. For your money. So for $9, I got a large sweet tea, great sweet tea. Pretty decent pulled pork sandwich. Easy to eat. Some amazing baked beans. These baked beans have like a zing to them. I don't know if they put Tabasco in it, whatever, but whatever they put in the baked beans, they also put in the potato salad. And there's just something about it. Your tongue tickles right after taking a couple bites in a good way. Your tongue tickles in a good way. Yes, old Rudy's goodness. Definitely worth the stop. And knowing that our money over all these years went to something amazing. Seeing that old Rudy's has the best pulled pork sandwiches. That title, in my mind, still goes to, I think it's called Old Red's, Blake Shelton's restaurant, that country music singer in Orlando. So far, that's the best pulled pork I've ever had. But old Rudy's, for sides and fixins, they can't be beat. They cannot be beat. Anyway, let me down this and get on back down the road. You know what I hate about living in the South? Well, there isn't too much. But when you're driving your vehicle and you've got your air conditioner blasting and then you step outside, the humidity totally fogs up your camera lens. It's probably the only bad thing about living in the South. Is that better? Is that, is that better? Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Anyway, I've been driving all day. You guys seen some of it, but I've been driving all day. Went all the way up to Nashville. Now I'm back in Georgia on my way back to Florida. And I think I'm just gonna end up spending the night here at this rest area and uh, enjoying a little bit of Netflix. Netflix and chill by myself. Netflix and chill with my cat. sad existence, right? 
Last night I watched the Adams Family, the the movie, the movie, the Adams Family movie. Hey, cat, what are you doing? What are you doing? What? Get out of my way! So last night I watched Adams Family, which I don't know why. I just love that movie. I'm sorry, can't explain it. I love the Adams Family, so I watched that last night, and tonight I am watching. I have no idea. Maybe Scooby Doo the movie. I'm just in a kick. I'm just in a weird, fun Halloween season type kick right now. And I think that's what I'm going to do. Sit back, eat some Ben and Jerry's with the cat. Watch some Scooby Doo. This is something I thought I would never see in the middle of a pandemic here in the United States. Kids getting off of a school bus. And I don't know if you noticed, but the kid nor the bus driver were wearing a mask. So... That's kind of odd too. You would think in a school bus, the kids would be wearing a mask and the bus driver, but no. Nope. You see only in Florida. Oh, by the way, yeah, I'm back in Florida. It's a whole new day. Looks like my trailer got stuck in the mud. It, it didn't, as long as my drive tires are okay. I just parked in the mud back here. Things are getting different now that school season's starting again. I can't, I cannot believe that people are sending their kids to school on a bus and the Florida school system is going, you know what, no mask required. Teacher's not gonna wear them. School bus driver's not gonna wear them. Don't, this whole thing is fake. It's all fake. You're not gonna get sick and take it home to your parents. Wow, man, that, that was just insane to see that. And I've heard people talk about it in my local area. So that have kids that are going to school. I just, I never, I just never seen it. I never realized it until I actually visually seen it. And it's shocking. Not, not as shocking as what's in front of me. Check this out. How beautiful it is here. Look how nice this is. I've actually been here once before and flown my drone over this bridge. It was, it was nice. It's kind of quiet, peaceful. Only sound is some light crickets and my truck off in the distance. But I was actually trying to get to this place because there's a video I want to shoot and I thought this might be the most picturesque, nice place to actually shoot a review video. What's that review video going to be? Well, you're going to have to tune in to my next video to find out because I'm not going to spoil it here. That's an orange mushroom. That's an orange fungi. If you look at that, that's kind of sweet. Oh, yeah, probably not. Definitely a nice day today. And you know what's crazy? There's a hurricane going on right now. We're in the middle of a hurricane. It just didn't hit here like it was supposed to. It hit off in that distance, in that, in that, in that general direction. I'm going to go ahead, get out of here, stop this video, and break out some other cameras and do a quick review of another product. And I thought, like I said, this would be the perfect environment to do that in. Sorry about the content today. Not much going on, really. Not much at all. But that's okay. Sometimes you get those clunkers. For me, it happens. I get the clunkers more often than I don't get the clunkers. Let's put it that way. But, uh... Even the clunkers sometimes, well. Show you a little bit of beauty. Till the next time, guys. I love you all. Peace out.